Today on Awesome Chat, we talk with Paul Bussing here about Millvale Music Fest and why you should go down to it. Awesome Chat is brought to you by Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash AwesomeCast. Hey guys, it's the Awesome Chat. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in Pittsburgh, PA from Mayhem Studios in the wonderful Beachview neighborhood. Well, this is the show where we talk with people uh, in tech and everything else geeky about things that are awesome in and around and outside of Pittsburgh. And today is no different. We got, we're talking music today and an awesome music fest that's coming up here in the area that you should definitely check out. Sadly, I'm working, but you guys should definitely check it out. <laughs> uh, but uh, in the meantime, check out all the podcasts at awesomecast.com. We switched up awesomecast.com. The old .net, of course, works. And you can, of course, look this up on all your favorite podcasting and video places, including iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and video versions on the YouTube and the Facebook page for Awesome Cast. Uh, please support the show, awesome, uh, patreon.com slash awesomecast. And check out all the old awesome chats. we got plenty of great things um, over the over a year that we've done this with podcasts or tech companies and all kinds of fun stuff. Stuff. I think you'll like something in there. There's a little bit of something for everybody, a lot of variety. Uh, today we have on the line via Skype Paul Bossing of the Millvale Music Festival that's happening in Millvale of all places coming up on May 13th this year. How you doing, Paul? Okay, how about you? All right. So first of all, yeah, what are you doing with the Millvale Music Festival? And tell us about the event. All right, uh, so we started a small committee. Brian from the River's Edge was uh, tasked with getting a group of people together to be interested in the community. I've been in bands and played at venues and book shows for years, so I got kind of involved. We talked about it a while back, and we've been to Rant in Lawrenceville and Deutschtown Music Festival and Strip District Music Festival, um, and just realizing the opportunity that exists in Millville to do the exact same thing, and unfortunately some of those festivals, such as Strip District, aren't really happening this year, so we're trying to pick up some of the slack and show off some of the unique venues in Millville. Um, Millville is changing, up and coming, and there are some neat things that I'm sure a lot of people don't know about in Millville. So we're going to get some exposure for them and about 120 or 130 um, local acts. All of our acts are local. Um, we are committed to making sure they're compensated, which is something that you know is uh, a priority for us and everyone in the scene, making sure that all these artists that spend so much of their time at least get something for it. So we've made a, made a point of that. And uh, we're coming along. We've got about 15 stages so far. Wow. We're going to have music from noon till midnight. It's going to be a long day of all types of music. Uh, we are spanning most, most different genres, lots of um, alternative indie folk rock, uh, kind of classic rock, blues rock. We've got a jazz stage. We've got a punk stage. Um, we've got some... Uh, Got some fun kind of, you know, goofy groups, uh, you know, like, you know, pirate uh, chanty and shanty kind of songs and, um, you know, all kinds of fun stuff for everybody. You know, there's going to be something for everybody that they want to go. You're going to recognize some names on the bill, even though they're all local and they're not, you know, these aren't national touring acts. But if you're in the music scene, you're going to recognize a bunch of bands and you're going to want to get out and check it out. It's going to be a great day. It's been pretty amazing, of course. You know, knowing Brian and Nerves as and listening to their, you know, sometimes I throw it on when you know on, on the side. I do a little bit of Uber and I put it on for the uh, the people in the car. And, awesome. and, and it's a it sounds like you know just as wide a variety as you find listening to that channel, which is, of course that channel is all put Pittsburgh local based. Um, it's been kind of interesting because you know kind of seeing the attachment because uh, from the first announcement, uh, the 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 reaction to this, like people jumping on board. Um, wanting to find out more information on the at least even just the Facebook event I got yeah. attached to, yeah. and got to see our, that first like couple of days that giant that giant outpouring of people interested in it. Um, is that something that that you know kind of took you guys off guard? Like, I mean, you, you, you it sounds like you don't have to tell a lot of people about this. It's, it's very <laughs> aware out there. Yeah, we were worried at the beginning before we launched this. You know, you know what what are we going to have to spend in advertising? Can we? You know, are we going to be able to raise funds to do that? I don't think we really need to. Uh, within literally a week, I think we had over 3,000 people interested in the event. We've got 6,000 now. Um, and we haven't even announced our final schedule and started tying all those bands into that. So 
you know, just naturally through social media, it's amazing the response we've gotten. It, 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 it was an immediate sense of, you know, uh, wow, this is awesome. And then, oh, crap. Wow, we've got a lot ahead of us to do and a lot of people to impress. So we've been, you know, working our working our butts off trying to get all this in line um, and tons of organizing. We're doing a lot of stuff um, in the background that when when people are there day of, they're going to recognize all the work we put into it. Um, but it's things like shuttle buses, uh, Millville is a small community without a lot of parking. So Z Trip has partnered with us. They've got shuttle buses from some parking we've got, you know, up on the hills around Millville. Um, and then they're doing discount codes to get people in and out. So we're going to really push ride sharing to make that easier on everybody. <laughs> um, and things like that. Uh, we immediately had one of our, you know, uh, local community members, um, uh, Atkinson beer distributing came right on and became our title sponsor. So the independent, um, brewers of Trogues, Dogfish Head, Victory, Oscar Blues and Bells, are all our main sponsors. And beyond that, we've got a list of about 20 some sponsors that have all partnered with us to make this happen. And as time goes on, it's amazing the community we have in Pittsburgh and how many different organizations, you know, we reach out and we say, we're in need of something and we're trying to get something done. And they partner right up with us. There's so many businesses that have jumped on and helped us. And um, people see day up. It's going to be fun. There's going to be there's going to be some food trucks. There's going to be a lot of venues with food too. Uh, two outdoor stages with beer gardens and things like that. It'll be fun. It's been really, and this seems like the culmination because uh, uh, Millville is a, a, a community that's kind of been uh, rebuilding itself over the last several years. You know, kind of getting a little bit of rejuvenated reju- energy again. A ton of small businesses, except for maybe the Hardys up the hill, I guess. You know, but uh, you know, which is a destination as well. Uh, yeah, <laughs> because it's the only one in the area uh, for something a little different. Um, yeah, but uh, but no, but I, I you know, it, it's uh, it's really cool to see this and, and to see something this big happen in a community, not a city community, but really right on the fringe of Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah. Millville is the the closest you can get down to downtown Pittsburgh without being in the city of Pittsburgh. Oh, wow. Uh, It is. I mean, we're just as far as Lawrenceville. I ride my bicycle to Pirate Games. It takes me 12 minutes and I'm not even booking. You know, it's beautiful. Take the river trail down. And and Millville is, I've been here for 10 years. Millville is changing and adapting. Unfortunately, about 11 years ago, we suffered some tremendous flooding. Um, And and it's funny how that brought the community together in a lot of ways. All the small businesses, the residents, the homeowners really came together after something like that. And the rebuilding and also the opportunity because, unfortunately, some people had to leave after something like that. They couldn't afford to bring up businesses and rebuild. Um, But at the same time, that opened space for new ideas. And that's why now we've got – you know, new businesses like two breweries, uh, like the Grist House that's that's here, that it, they wouldn't have been able to be here if the opportunity and the space didn't exist because of some of those things that we've had to go through. That's great. Yeah, and it's like a new new ideas or new new businesses. It's really 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 awesome to see. Um, yeah. So so you don't even have the list of of artists out yet. Uh, we've been adding. Um, we've been trying to get all those bands involved and and announce them as it comes. Uh, it, it, we, we really got a, a late start to this. We started meeting in August or September and kind of thinking, oh, next summer. And then when we looked at the calendar of all the festivals, you know, we kind of realized, well, we've got the Arts Festival and then we've got Deutschtown Music Festival and we've got Rant and, you know, different. And then the holidays and we started adding up and we said, well, let's attack the beginning of the year. But then that made our time frame much shorter. And our first year, there's a lot of planning. You know, we haven't done it before. So we're, we're inventing the wheel for us. And everything's new, so it's a lot of work. But yeah, the bands are coming. We I think we probably have about eighty or ninety announced. Um, if you check on our Facebook page, I, I know tonight we're going to be announcing more bands every Thursday night. We've been doing our Millville Minute, where we go over some of the different uh, aspects of what we're planning on for the festival. And we have, we've been announcing some bands every week, and probably within the next uh, week, two weeks tops, we're going to have a finalized schedule, and uh, we'll get the times out to everybody, and it's going to be fun. And it's been really great. So, of course, a lot of discussion happening there. Uh, you know, you have your connection with Rivers Edge that's doing some live videos that are being shared on here. And, and yeah. I'm noticing that you guys are also sharing some live footage, some other bands um, that, uh, you know, over the time here, you know, it's great. You can kind of get a little sampler here just on your Facebook page. Yeah, yeah. Doing that kind of stuff, keep, keeping people involved with the event and, and not forgetting about, you know, because we announced it beginning of the year and that was over, you know, four and a half months out. So we have to, yeah, keep that interested and, and get people that little teaser. Like, here's the bands you can see. Maybe you haven't heard of them, but 
we really like them and here's why and check it out. And, and we're going to be doing a lot more of that and partnering with some other people to, to get some content out there ahead of time, especially in the last 30 days. We're really going to be pushing, you know, a band a day. We're going to do a little uh, synopsis of and things like that. Awesome. So, so what's your, uh, what, what, what's your hope here? You're we're just a few weeks out from this. Like what, what's your biggest thing you hope gets accomplished by, by this event? I just hope that new people come into the community. They get to see some new venues and they get to see some new music. There's definitely going to be new music. If you don't see 15 bands you haven't seen before, you're doing something wrong because you can walk <laughs> around and just stumble across bands almost, you know, every half a block that our, especially our downtown business district. I think we have 10 or 12 of the stages concentrated in one tiny little area within like two or three blocks. So it's going to be, you know, as long as people get that exposure, they get to see new stuff, new bands, new venues, new opportunities that exist in Millville. And then they get to walk away and say, I want to be part of that next year. I want to see that be bigger. And I had a great time and they tell everyone about it. And hopefully it just organically grows like that. That's awesome. Go check it out. Of course, you guys are on uh, Facebook at Millville Music uh, or Facebook.com slash Millville Music over there. Uh, is there anywhere else people can check out information? Uh, our website, millvillemusic.org, we're going to get that revamped and posted with the final schedules and everything um, in a couple of weeks when we do all those announcements. So either one of those two. Uh, Facebook is really um, kind of our hub, though, just based on the live videos and things like that we're doing in the event on there that is sort of the central hub for every everyone involved. Um, how can people get involved if they want to help out with the event? So we are looking for volunteers. Um, we actually have had a great um, submission already on our website, millvillemusic.org. We have a volunteer uh, registration on there. Uh, if you are in particular somebody that enjoys and has some experience running sound, or you have some experience with maybe some security, or you have some experience, like if you're ramp certified, like you're a bartender, those are things that we will definitely be interested in having somebody help out. Um, we're doing shifts of a few hours, like four or five hours. So you can you don't have to give up the whole day. It's going to be 12 hours of music. So you can do a part of the day, and then you can go enjoy a lot of the day. And that would help out a ton. You get a free shirt and uh, you know a free lunch, and, and you get to be part of it and kind of see some of the behind-the-scenes stuff and, 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 and be involved, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Go check it out. And uh, disclaimer, uh, my wife is involved with some of the planning down there. So you might see her around as well um, during the event. And uh, She's doing a great job. <laughs> responding to things like that. I just she disappears every couple of uh, evenings. And I'm just like, where are you at? Oh, Millvale doing that thing. I'm like, oh, OK, uh, that's cool. Uh, yeah. So and uh, so please go check it out. It's, it's an awesome thing. They're doing great stuff in Millvale. Community on the rise here and uh, really like really a grassroots kind of situation too and it's really it's really cool to see in the meantime visit millvale <laughs> yeah There's a lot of really cool stuff i know i've i've uh, uh you know ran a couple of people down there to you know check out gris house and stuff and it's really something you know different you know it's, it's really cool really cool so yeah all right thank you paul for joining us and uh yeah check out millvale music thank festival you. and check out all the other conversations with awesomecast.net including the awesome chat interviews such as this and so much more and uh, thank you to my awesome guest. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.